you back in the room. And go. What's up, guys? Beton 3 here again with uh, another commentary with the TMVP crew. A quad. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's introduce yourselves again. My name is MGH. Hello there. And I'm PlayStation name, 3 Gaming HD. My name's Jay or Cardboard84. And I'm Camo or Camo C Media. Links yeah. in description to the channels. Yeah, yeah, they will be in. So, Topics. first of all, we have. Killzone 3? No, yeah, okay. Should we talk about Killzone 3, guys? Okay, Matt, you can start. Okay, well, first of all, let's do first impressions of it. Let's not get into too much detail. What, what's the first impressions? For me, good game, but a few problems. Yeah. I like the well, yeah, I like the playstyle, but as everyone keeps moaning about controllers, but you just got to get used to them. Yeah, it's a matter of adjusting. I, I don't dislike the controls. I just think they they still have a bit too much weight, and it's not just the controls; it's the lag and the hit detection is a bit bad sometimes. But other than that, I'm I'm pretty happy with the game. You shouldn't have to adjust to the controls, though. Yeah, true. Yeah, but, but that's like, like if you go on Gran Turismo and then you go on Need for Speed, you have to adjust. Yeah, but From... that's because they're two different games. Like, well, well I know that Call and Killzone are two different games, but I want the controls to be better, like Call of Duty, just because I want Killzone to be good. Yeah, yeah. But it's like not. I can't adjust to it. Graphically, it's probably the best game out there. I'd say the only other game that looks better is maybe Crisis Two. Which isn't really it's interesting for me, I've got to say. It's fun. Do you say it was not really interesting? Or? Nope. I'm not interested in Which? Crisis. Yeah, right, it doesn't... Anyway. It looks a bit gay. I don't know, plus... Well, we'll see if they do a beta or anything, but knowing them, they won't. Cause, in, a way, in a way, it's Killzone-ish. It's the same sort of, I don't know, futuristicness. <laughs> what, good graphics, futuristic shit controls and damage? <laughs> no, oh, the controls aren't great, to be honest. It's fun though. Guys, like sorry, one, one sec. Ahead. Carry on without me, just one sec. Okay. Okay. Okay then. He's going for a mic. <clears throat> but um, he's going for a ball pop. <laughs> <laughs> just completely put me off. But um, <laughs> anyway, what was next? We can sub out Killzone because you know I I don't like it. I don't think many other. Well, Matt's a little. Well, Matt likes it, but it, like I said, there's a few problems. Whereas. You know, if it's a first-person shooter, it's going to have to be good to make me want to play it instead of Call of Duty. Even then, saying that, I can't really be bothered to play Black Ops. The only, the only reason I'm playing it at the moment is because it's double XP, So, and that ends in, like, four minutes, if it ends <laughs> at midnight anyway. Sorry about that, guys. So, uh, it's all right. The fucking but cock yeah. of a brother. I woke him up, sorry. What was next? Uh, Black Ops. Yeah, yeah I was going to say you Black just Ops. mentioned that. Well, yeah, this game plays uh, 120 to 15, and... Me and uh, Camo were playing on the Nuke 24 playlist. Nuke 24 hour, no, Nuke Town 24 hour play, yeah, 24 7 playlist. Which I've only just uh, found out about. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, it. but this match was the alf decent matches. I don't know if you can see in the video, but Cam Camo's uh, chopper gun is like glitching, it's jolting all over the place and like going backwards and forwards. It's been smoking. So yeah, the game, the game was pretty glitched, probably because just I don't know why. Everything. It's a tryout game. It's going to be glitched in it. Yeah. But um, it's just Call of Duty in general. So. Yeah. I mean, sure. I I never thought they would ever introduce something like you know a map that you can play for twenty four hours, like over and over again. I don't mean it's yeah. Well, would you hours, rather but... would you rather pick the playlist where you can play that map over and over again, or would you rather have ground war domination on Nuketown? Well, that one, like, yeah. Just just in the general playlist of ground war. I pref I much prefer having it randomized. Yeah, some of the maps on Black Ops, you get them too much. Like, you get Summit all the time. Yeah, I hate like, the fact that everyone never get replays cracked. it. Even though Cracked isn't a good map, I just want to switch it up a bit because you get the same maps over and over again. We it remember when it first language. came out and, like, everyone was, oh, I love this voting system, but really it's turned out to be a bit annoying, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Or it should have, like, at least have every map there. Yeah, because yeah. you get Summit quite a lot. All the snowy maps seem to get spammed over the mm. ones that aren't snowy. The problem with yeah, that camo, gunners, the problem the with that camo would be everyone would vote Nuketown every time. True. Yeah, but you can only you can't vote the same map double time like twice. Have yeah, it like Killzone Two ball. style. 
where it comes up with a list of all of them and then yeah. shows you how many people have voted for each one. Mm. Yeah, that would be good. It's pretty much the same though, you know, like five people vote Summit, two vote Grid, you get like, Summit. Ben, we were talking about how Killzone and Black Ops, if they came together, it would be the perfect oh, it's game. True, yeah, it would. Get re- use COD controls and maybe COD damage, maybe a bit teeny, tiny bit more, like health-wise. And the COD customization. Yeah, and the yeah. graphics from Killzone. Yeah, I'm, I don't want to put Killzone down, but the things that let it down are very, very bad. But if you think about it, the effort they've put into that game is crazy. They've done so well with it visually. Yeah. It looks amazing. But um, it's like if you take Killzone graphics and Killzone storyline and characters, e.g. Hellgast, they would be beast. Mm. Yeah, I love the story in Killzone. Yeah. I haven't actually yeah. played the campaign in Black Plus, Ops. Plus, uh, so. when we, me and Camo were playing it like an hour ago, the beta, the open beta, you know, yeah, the open, download it. You can like download it. Download yeah, it in the PS Store now. Ask, asking right if now. you download it or not. It's open. It's like a door. You can open it and walk use in. it and walk through it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, we was playing it. And uh, when you play a game mode called Operations, which is like you follow objectives and stuff, like uh, you have like a... The yeah, movie. The, you have like yeah, a cinematic like a intro. Movie. Like if you're the hell guy, you're defending. The alarm goes off, and you see your characters. Like, uh, say, if I chose the marksman, I'll have like a uh, hood on me and like I don't know camo shit, and and then uh, I'll turn the alarm on, and everyone will jump behind the barriers. Not that we do it; it's all scripted. Like, but it's like playing a movie, isn't it? It's like yeah. you're watching a movie and, and then the playing online it. has more story to it, even though well, it doesn't have story in that. You know, not but it feels super like black. it. Because you have the guy telling you, like, we got 30 seconds left, do not let the dam go, and stuff like that. Exactly. Whereas on COD, it's just like UAV in the air. Yeah. So, yeah, I know, I just called it in. County UAV inbound. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I, I much prefer Killzone in so many ways to Black Ops, but there's just the, ma- the major problems that Black Ops have right, I wish was in Killzone. Controls. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say, like, I came off Killzone Beta, when on Black Ops, like, fuck, yes, yeah, so I can move around properly. Yeah, I know, I agree with you on it's that such part. such a relief, like... Although, when I came off Killzone, when on Black Ops, felt like I was floating in midair. Yeah, true, <laughs> it feels like you're hovering above the ground. Yeah. You get used it's to it. definitely more arcade controls, isn't it? Killzone's more mm. of a simulation. Speaking of Killzone, my emblem's the Hellgast flag, how beast. Yeah, I want one mine's, of them. Mine's pretty cool. Should we change the topic to the map Shut pack? Up, Things we're talking about Black Ops, and we might as well talk about the map pack. Oh yeah, first try. Only a couple of weeks away now from it coming out on PS3. Well, yeah, mm. Microsoft spent like 500k bribing Activision as usual. So. But would so you accept the money for that? I bloody would. True. Yeah, but everyone on Xbox is paying. They basically pay for the right to buy it first, and then they pay for the map pack. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. And also, they know... Well, this is why they've done it. They know that PS3 players will buy it anyway, so they're not losing out. I'm not. Mm. But, yeah, we've talked about that in the last one. I don't think I'll buy it either. I'll buy it just because it's... you know. I'll yeah, but Ben, you, you play it more. I don't, I don't play it near well, enough. Well, there's no point you playing it, but it's annoying, say, if you, if you and Jay don't have the maps and me and Cham I do, it's like, fuck. You've got to yeah. play the same old crappy default maps again. Well, I'm True. not paying 10 quid to play Ascension over and over again. <laughs> Even that's the only thing work. I'm slightly interested in because I don't really play zombies. I'd like to get into it more. Ascension yeah, even though great. even though Ascension does look jizztastic. Yeah, the little yeah. monkeys crawling around. That's pro. <laughs> that's funny. Um, but Discovery, I was watching X Jules playing on that. That looks like a nice map. I've got to say, Stadium's cool. It's Stadium as well. On yeah. The ice rink though, because the ice rink's barred off. You go in there, but you can't. Imagine if you could go on it and you like. Stadium. Imagine if you go on it, you slide around, dolphin dive on it and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Last stand, but on ice. Start sliding around. <laughs> go. You can't hit But the me. other maps don't do anything for me. Kowloon looks like a freaking maze. Oh, it looks like a, what, what was what? that COD format downpour? What a piss. Oh, it's just shit. Yeah. I don't like Kowloon at all, and I haven't even played it yet. It looks, like, it a, cool. looks like a cross between uh, Chinatown and downpour. Mm. I disagree yeah. about the zip lines. I think that's just retarded. Absolutely, like, uh, I might idea. get shot easily though. Sark said they should have put a perk in so when you're on a zip line you can shoot on the way through, like on the way <laughs> now, down. That, that would be cool if it's slow mode as well. <laughs> yeah. But other Everyone than that, I think the map pack's pretty redundant. Nothing exciting for me. Well, I don't know. At least it's not fifteen. Well, at least it's not thirteen pounds like uh, Infinity Ward was. 
Yeah, true. But then Cochin, Infinity Ward Cochin, maps were absolutely terrible. Yeah, it was fifteen dollars, and it was like thirteen or twelve pounds. So. Yeah, it was eleven ninety nine. I think it was. Something like that. To America, then it's cheaper. <laughs> Works out cheaper. It's unfair, really. Why? Why do we have to pay more for something that's exactly the same? Mm. Yeah, for one of the, for one of the old maps, I'd have bought the old game. Yeah, true. They just put in old maps, and it was boring. But at least Treyarch do better map packs. I reckon Zombies is just a good thing. Well, if we continue talking about Black Ops, we wanted to discuss what we'd improve, what we'd change, what we'd get rid of. Go on. Yeah, we've got like two minutes left until the video ends, but if we're that just desperate... Like a blank we can, screen. <laughs> yeah, if we're, if we're that bothered, I can just... I've got another five-minute gameplay, so if we take up to 17... Camo, what would you remove or put in? I'm not sure. I'd have to think about that. Well, Come back to me. Well, yeah, instantly, <laughs> I would say the melee system, the knife... Either nerf it, I'd actually say remove it and give almost yeah, like I'd a gun bash, like Halo. Killzone. But actually, you no, know, I don't even kill zones bo- melee's be a bit bother bad. to melee people. It's just. I know, but it's when you die by it, it's extremely frustrating. And um, this is one of the big things that's affected every single Call of Duty is the knifing. It's so annoying and pointless. Why yeah. bring. Yeah, like I said the other night, why bring a knife to a gunfight? Exactly, yeah. I'll get rid of Last Stand. Yeah, second chance has got to go. That's a pain in the arse. I don't use it. I don't half these perks. I I use like the streamlined perks. On Modern Warfare 2, I use the typical setup of scavenger, stopping power, and ninja. Yeah. On this, I use ghost. What? Uh, oh, ghost. Uh. <laughs> or scavenger. Ghost is fine. Um, yeah, I use ghost with jewel mags. You know, don't moan about exactly. the class. It's a beastly setup. You can't beat it. You have you ammo. You can't beat it. Join it. Yeah, can't well, it's, them, not that I can, it's not that I can beat it. Exactly. I put it right there from the start. I've I remember always used when Ghost. Um, Woody's gamer tag had the game like a week early, and he said, uh, "Yeah, I think the most important perk is Ghost." I was like, "Right, I'm putting that on," and I've had well, it ever since. Anything Woody I always says said is I was going to put Ghost to. on. Yeah, yeah. just because of the standard UAV. People find it annoying because they can't really think of anything else to blame when they get killed. Mm. And if he's wearing Ghost, it's like, "Oh, fucking Ghost." Yeah, so I didn't see him on the radar. Yeah, you should have been ghosts. more aware. I know. It's, <laughs> it's. I mean, I understand people getting annoyed with it, but not to the point where it needs to be removed or tweaked. It's fine. Yeah. Use your jammers or your motion sensors. You'll be fine. Get your Blackbird up. Just thought. I think like a week ago, I would have said I would have tweaked the sniping back to like COD Four, but now I've been doing it for a couple of matches. I'm actually getting. It's not too bad eventually. Not, not pro at it, but I'm getting better. But it lacks uh, the fun. Yeah. Don't you think sniping used to be fun? Like whipping out the intervention on crash. I never used it online anyway, to be honest. Now and again, but... See, I still go on Modern Warfare 2 and snipe, and it's hell. It's so much fun. But, mm. you know, that's just me. Oh yeah, quick, can we quickly mention the patch that's coming out on Modern Warfare 2? Seeing as I'm getting loads of questions about that. Um, if I don't know if many people will know about it, but they are patching the hacked lobbies on PS3 anyway. Not sure about Xbox and the fuel rock glitch. I know cardboard. You said you were pissed off about that. Yeah, they had over a month to fix it before it came out on PS3. Yeah, and they're and just they doing just it now. Didn't bother. I think it was in me and Camo that we joined the free fall, and we just both sat in the rock. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was sat listening to you guys doing that. I think Roy was nah, in was there joked. as well, wasn't he? Yeah, it was Roy. No, it was me and Roy. I think, and we kept killing. Yeah, I think it was me and Roy. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, either way, the patch is coming out, I think they said sometime in March, so expect a Modern Warfare 2 patch what? coming what? out soon. Oh my god. And that was Robert, uh, Robert Bowling who tweeted that, by the way. I'm a stealth clown. But yeah, I'm really excited about that because I, I think Modern Warfare 2, whether it's more shit <laughs> in, at times, but it's more fun, and that's what it's all about for me. Yeah, but it's like when I came... Like I was saying earlier, I came off Killzone, went on Black Ops, started poning, I was having so much fun. It was just so, it was easy as fuck. Like, some days I can just, like, pone, like, get matches like this, 120 to 15. That wasn't, like, that was effortless kind of thing. Mm. And this match I've switched to now because we've gone over 12 minutes. This is the 59 and 0. Although I didn't intend to go flawless, I was, like, 30 nil, and then I realised and I thought, fuck it. Let's go for a flawless. Another thing I would change about Black Ops is, I know this is quite controversial, but the recoil on the on some of the guns, not all of them, but some of them I Every, think is overdone. Everyone complains about the AK-74U and it's been like nerfed. Every like, time. 
twice now. Every it's like patch seriously, is a nerf. if you if you make that gun any more fucking like if you de downgrade it any more, it's just going to become boring like yeah. all the other guns in the game. I mean, all the same. I understand why they put a lot of recoil in. It's obviously you know to make it harder and it eventually more fun. But I think when you overdo it, it deters people from using certain weapons like. Uh, the famous. I know everyone uses that, but everyone has experienced that random jump. Yeah, it random it's, jump. It's ridiculously top left. annoying. I'll be aiming at someone; it'll fly off, and then I get. Killed. If you're past like the, it's an assault rifle, and when you shoot from like more than middle range away, like if you're mid range and you shoot further than that, it just fucking sways like a bitch. Yeah, it's like wow, you're intended for like mid mid range to long range use, and you can't even deal with it. That's mm. why you should use the org because it always is like, goes top right. Org yeah, is the, brilliant. The org is like the famas, but yeah, like you said, it goes top right. But the famas is like a submachine gun. I've had it so many times where yeah. some guy hip fires me with the famas and it just bones me when I'm using a submachine gun. Or a I shot. didn't. I don't it's mean. The same with the org. I don't mean to turn down the famas. I think that's one of the only balanced guns in the game. But for me, it's submachine guns like the Caparis, you know, classified, but it turns out to be absolute <clears> dog shit. Yeah, because yeah. every gun needs stopping power on as standard. I know they've don't, taken it out of the game, but you just need it on the guns as standard if you're going to do that. Don't yeah. you know it's a trend, though? Infinity Ward always pump up their assault rifles like the SCAR and... ACR. The SCAR and the SCAR. Tar. I can't think of anything else. TAR-21. TAR-21. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> and then Treyarch always do the submachine guns like the AK-74. Well, it's kind of like an assault rifle anyway. The MP-40. 74. Yeah, MP-40 and... yeah. Yeah, that's it. I can't but then remember. the UMP was very good in Modern Warfare 2. True, actually true. Probably the best gun in the game along with the Famous. So, yeah. No, TAR-21 was the best in that game. No, because nah. TAR-21 was best with a silencer. I felt it Definitely, recalled. yeah. ACL. Technically, the best gun in the game is the Famous or the FAL in terms of damage. The FAL. What, in Modern Warfare? Especially, with, Modern especially Warfare with my... Tr I've got a really good trigger finger, so the FAL was always yeah, good same. for me. Yeah, same. People used to think I modded my controller. <laughs> Just because you've got a modded controller. No, I don't. Actually, I don't cheat in any any shape or form. How, how dare you accuse me? What's ball popping? <laughs> <laughs> yep, I have, I've brought it up. No, uh, when, you went, up. when you went... Uh, Cardboard said you went to go for a ball pop and then uh, we just, yeah, dif dismissed it. I think we should talk about ball popping. No, but all your all your subscribers aren't old enough for this. Okay, well we'll leave ball popping for now then. We'll wait a couple of You're years. Gonna, in your we'll comment you box, if I, in your comment box, what's ball popping? What's ball popping? <laughs> now you'll have to explain. It's like Steve yeah, now you've got to do. Yeah, well, you can do a commentary on it. Is an expert heart. Yes. We didn't yeah. talk about um, NGP next generation portables. Oh yeah. The the PlayStation, well, the PSP. The new PSP, too. yeah. Call it like? I'll say it's a PSP free. PSP because you got the go. Yeah, you got I the go. I'm not into handheld. Nah, neither am I. But someone was saying no, I, how I use it just on the plane and stuff. Go was a massive flop, though. Who yeah. who was it who was saying that um, the new one will have pretty much identical graphics to PS3? Well, it's not identical, but well, it's almost. probably the best you can get on a handheld at the moment. Yeah, that is pretty amazing. Yeah. You can't get them identical, but you can get them Clo as, near as, copy. as near as makes no difference. But it's mm. got an ARM Cortex A9 core uh, inside it, so it should do. It'll be quick. Well. It'll be slow compared to PS3, but quick compared to other handheld shit things like the DS3D. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah it's not even free. It's not even 3D. The way people think of 3D is pop out. It doesn't. It's basically fucking PS3 with all the. I wonder what games they're gonna put on it. Mario. Mario. It's, only, it's got that's Super the only thing Street keeping, Fighter. That's the only thing keeping Nintendo alive. Just fucking Mario. Yeah, soon it's it'll be um, it'll be Nintendo Wii 3D. Have you, you've seen the guy that voices Mario. He's a fucking nut job. <laughs> the people that buy Zelda for every Nintendo console, that's what's keeping them alive. Yeah, even then, yeah. you've just got a little big planet. You can play Mario and Zelda fucking levels on there. You can play uh, mach Micro Machines, you know. Uh, Uncharted. Geometry Wars. Unchar Unhearted 2, Drake's Misfortune. Yeah. Which is the LBP version. I've run out of topics, guys. I've got none yeah. left. Well, that's fine, because we've... Gone we've over. gone over, yeah. Yeah, but I'll upload it anyway with gameplay because I'll just I'll probably be on Little Planet like after this anyway. I'm just gonna render it and upload it. Like all read sounds good. 
So, uh, oh yeah, but last question to the subs, well, mainly Matt's or mine, whoever's, uh, you know, Jay's, well, not Jay's. Not me. Not Camo's. <laughs> but, um, me and Camo doesn't have any subs. Well, seven. 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 Seven's a lot, man. I did have <gasps> 41. I did have 41 on my old one. Beast. That's you like having guess? a rug. Six, class 16 of them were mine. <laughs> anyway, what are you going to say, one. Ben? A question? A uh, question. Should we turn this into a podcast? Yes. But just upload it to YouTube, not Podbean, because ah, you have to pay. I forgot to tell you payable. guys, but if I go in my applications folder, I actually have the podcast capture application so if we wanted to do it all we've got to do is set up an account and we start recording from that yeah that's so fine I don't if, mind if people want to listen to it I'd be more than happy to do it you know on a weekly basis maybe every Friday yeah. night we do an hour two uh, hour no podcast. if we're going to do it don't give it a schedule because then you're forcing yourself to do it really. well yeah okay so you know on although a we have basis, done like kind of three in the past two weeks well if, probably if, like if ten we all, all get, of them failed if we all if we all got first strike yeah I think we should do it a live zombies can't. Well, like, uh, like You're going to give me the money said, then? Like, yeah, uh, sure. like Camo and Jay said, uh, we should. they wanted to start uh, like a TMVP review channel. But like I said, I can't even be bothered to upload on mine at the moment. But we could we could just, in these podcasts, we could review games and stuff. Yeah, so if definitely. Any, if any of the subs have ideas. Basically, what we want you to do, guys, is leave a comment and basically say, would you watch it? I mean, is it is it worth us putting two hours of effort in? Yeah, for nothing or for loads of people to watch. So yeah, leave a comment. Do you want us to do a podcast and what should we call it? You know things like that. But if I talk to um, Robert from SWAF who uploads SWAF SWAF sounds gay, uh, he <laughs> uploads a video. Go check go check his channel out. He's beast. He's helped me for ages. Like half of my subs are from him helping me out. So uh, you know, check him out. He always uploads my videos. But if I can convince him to. Uh, upload what we do then that'll get all of us more views and stuff so Sweet. it won't be it'll be worthwhile but anyway thanks for fucking tuning in yeah exactly yeah now fuck off <laughs> tmpv or Signing. mvpt vp yeah tmvp <laughs> yeah you wanna get high? come on the most tell valued everyone what it players. means shut up mhg the most, <laughs> the most valued players the most is valued what tmvp players. means so uh thanks yeah. for listening guys out. This radio station is changing frequency right about now. So, adios, amigos. amigos.